Click New to create a new project. Enter your project name. Engineer name and password. Please make sure to remember the engineer name and password. If you have other projects or cases downloaded from the official website, you can also use the restore button to recover them. After selecting the project, click default project to set it as the active project and proceed with configuration. Global settings. Enable general options and startup options. These are used for project monitoring and operation. General options. Launch at Windows startup. Enable multi-screen display. Disable system hotkeys, etc. Enable right-click menu on monitoring screen. And some data services. Activate the report server. Activate MACT data forwarding service. Activate the OPC US service. Activate the WebSocket data service. Enable auto logout for security. Click network structure. Start configurations such as adding architecture nodes and modifying server. Internet protocol addresses. Select the project. Enter the password. Click the sub-project, your project name and network. You can modify the internet redundancy here. Click the server group. The server group is its real-time data server, and it can also be used as a historical data server through IP address 1 network to enable PLC equipment and other instrumentation equipment, systems and services to collect data. You can also modify the IP address according to the project status. 1 to 7.0.0.1 can be used for learning tests if the server redundancy is required. The number of servers can be set to 2. Right click sub project. You can add operation nodes. Modify the IP address of the operating node. You can also add or subtract engineers in the configuration and change the engineer password set common default settings clock synchronization server event and alarm archive cycle engineering unit email settings configuration server name and ip click save and close the current page after the setup is completed Select the project and click the configuration. Go to the configuration development page. Enter the engineer name and the password. This is the saving path of the configuration file. Click OK. Click on the subproject and right click. Open from configuration server. This is the node information of the project. And the left menu bar is for general configuration functions such as database data collection, historical data storage. There are also tag group manager, supervising user authority, database source, 3D configuration, recipe management, object model, and other functions. You need to collect data through database, data storage through history trends, through the operation team, display the graphics process screen and data. First, let's take a look at the database functionality. Right click the database and click Edit. Click the local node and right click to add the driver. The list contains the acquisition drivers. Add your own as needed, such as Modbus TCP drive and memory drives for intermediate variables. Click on the driver and right click to enter the driver configuration page. You can add the equipment and modify the equipment collection parameters. Click to add device. Enter the device's IP address. Port number.
device ID, and byte order. Default 3412. Then add the data block. Set data block start address and address length. Data type. Holding register. You can add as many data blocks as needed. Then save the changes to the driver. Right click drive to add a tag. Select the tag type. Enter the tag name, tag description, and IO address. Read write properties, range conversion, and keep on disconnect. Set IO address. Select the device that has been added. Data block. Offset in block. Offset in block starts at zero. For the previous data block, perform an offset from zero and then select the data type. Supports bit, bool, word, int, and real floating point numbers. You can choose the default word type. Click the alarm button to enter the alarm configuration. Select whether the current tag is enabled for alarms. Configure the alarm type. Set alarm types and limits. Set the default alarm description. If you need to add tags in batches, you can export the tags, add and edit in batches before importing the tags. You can also select tags to copy and paste, allowing for batch addition. Then, modify the detailed configuration of the tags, such as the I.O. address. Modify the offset in block. Click OK. Save the database configuration. Click on the history trend. To configure the historical data storage, for the tags, right-click to add the historical trend tag. Select the tags for data storage. Click OK, right-click, or double-click the tag to set the storage property. Set the storage period and compression type. Click on the history data server, and right-click to add server. Select the node where the historical data is stored, then click OK. Click on History Data Server. Check the tag group that needs to be stored. In the current History Data Server, and right-click Tag Group. You can select All. Click the Menu Bar tool. Trend Database Settings. Set the data file record time. The default record time is 30 days. Zero means no data will be deleted. Click Save Configuration. Click Operation Team, and right-click to add the Operation Team. It contains the functions such as Data Overview, Trend, Graphics, Report, Alarm Region, etc. Click Graphics, and right-click to add a page. It can be edited after the file is named. Continue to add a Graphics page. Set the default page. Click to enter the graphics editing interface. Menu toolbar. Property bar. Graphical control bar. There are also color configuration and layer management. Click tag control. And then drag and drop into the graphics. Binding tag. Click to enter the tag selector. Select the tag and click OK. Click Settings to set some extended properties of the label, such as basic information and advanced display information. Text Properties Data Display Write Value Way Alarm Display and other functions. Click OK to save. Click on the Graphics Library to enter the Library Manager. There's a standard industry library. Click on the primitive and drag it to the graphics. For configuration application, you can also apply some other graphics, such as button. Select the graphical control object. Select the graphical control object. Input the color. 
and right-click the graphic object to dynamically configure properties such as visibility, movement, blinking, zooming, color, and actions. Click Action. You can set the action triggered by pressing the button, such as opening the page, turning pages, logging in or out, window minimization, tag inching, etc. When the configuration is done, click OK. Close and save the completed graphics page. Click the alarm region. Check the tag group that needs to be alerted in real time. Within the current operation team, click the title bar to select all. And then ensure you save, including the alarm sound and pop-up notifications. Click the resource file to view all graphics, panel, background templates, schedules and alias project files. Click the graphics to view all graphics files. Select the graphics file and export it to other projects through by right-clicking the graphics. You can also right-click the background template to add or import a graphics file. Then apply it to other graphicses. Right click on the graphics. Select Page Properties Settings. Select Background Template. Click Open and confirm to apply. Based on the applications of Background Template, you can continue configuring certain screens. Then click Save and close the page once the configuration is completed. Continue Configuration Publishing. Click on Configuration Publish. Offline Publish applies the configuration to the current node. Offline Publish All applies configuration to all nodes. Online Publish is a non-disruptive deployment to all nodes during active monitoring. If a node status is offline, you need to verify if the IP address of the operational node is reachable via ping. Click on the Offline Publish or the Offline Publish All. After the publish is completed, exit the Publish interface. Click to start monitoring. Go to the Startup page. When dealing with multiple projects, select a subproject and active the monitoring screen. Click OK to start, and then enter the monitoring operation screen. The current user is an observer and does not have operational permissions. Click to log in. Select the admin. Enter the password, admin. Click OK to log in, and then go to the default page. Click the tag label to pop up the tag panel. You can write values to digits and view real-time trend curves during runtime. You can also set the tag's alarm enable and alarm limit. The top navigation bar provides features such as the home page, graphics navigation, reports, operation logs, system information, and login or logout functions. Right-click the graphics page where you can select system functions to open the screen and navigate to other graphics pages. If you would like to hide the top navigation bar and the bottom alarm bar, you can adjust these settings through the Project Management page under Project Properties, disabling the classic style. You will also need to enter a password to log out of the system. Then click OK to exit. This concludes a brief quick start introduction. If you're interested in exploring more about Soliscata's features, please check out our user manual or visit our official website at www.soliscata.com. Our help is always within reach. Ready to build your next project with Soliscata? Start now!